It's championship season here in West Michigan, and we have several area teams playing for state titles. Forest Hills Central Boys Lacrosse had a chance to cap off its perfect season. They took on Detroit Country Day in the Division II title game. And after starting the game down three goals, they start to come back here in the second, thanks to Crandall Quint, Quinn, excuse me, who showed up with a handful of big saves, including that one. And then they start to tack on the goals. Here's Jake Koning, who gets the pass from Jonah McConnell. And he's there in front to snap one into the net for the Rangers. Later on, it'll be Nolan Hartle who makes the play to Nathan Sargent as they get another one past the keeper. And Forest Hill Central comes back to win it 11-8, to winning the program's fifth state title, finishing with a perfect 21-0 for the first time in school history. I just, I, I'm lost for words. We won this the whole year, and we, we finally did it. it just, it's something amazing. So proud of this team. So proud of the things we accomplished this year. I just want to feel this feeling again, and I'm going to do whatever I, whatever I can so that I can be here on this stage next year. Um, you know, obviously last year we fell a little bit short in the semifinals, so this year for the work that these guys put in is absolutely incredible. Onto the girls, Forest Hills Northern Eastern taking on Brighton. The Bulldogs have finished runner-up at state for the last three seasons, and they strike first to take a 1-0 lead, but the Bird Dogs respond. Mia Dye wraps around to find the back of the net and tie things up here in the first, and there was plenty where that came from. Carly Whitlinger weaves her way through traffic and scores back-to-back -back goals to give the Bird Dogs a 3-1 lead, and they kept their foot on the gas. This time it'll be Elena Davis. They like this wraparound play play to make it 5-1 Bird Dogs, but the Bulldogs end up coming back, sending this one to overtime and winning it 12-11 for the state championship as Forest Hills comes up as the runner-up. Also today, East Grand Rapids looks to defend its state title in Division II after winning back-to-back -back championships. They'll be down one to Detroit Country Day in the second, but Lizzie Lundine makes the play there, the solo shot to tie things up. And here's one for the lead, Vivian LaMange with a great pass to Mary Meany. And it'll be 9-8 East Grand Rapids. They trade goals with the Yellow Jackets to send this one to overtime after a back and forth battle throughout. And then here's Lundine with her biggest goal of the day and of her career, the one to win it and crown the Pioneers state champions with a final score 12-11 in overtime.